Okay, let's do a quick overview of my Restored Craftsman 101 drill press. I purchased this on Marketplace, had a decent price on it. Um, a couple things were wrong with it, but it ran and it ran smooth. So backed it up. What was going on was uh, there was duct tape wrapped all around this coil spring. Uh, which turned out to have a loose coil spring in there. So big surprise when I took the tape off. Uh, it was missing the quill stop, but I think people just take them out because you really don't use them, I assume, and they get lost. Uh, it didn't have the feed stop, so I had to order this on eBay. Uh, and then the thing was just covered in 80 years worth of filth and rust. So that was the biggest task, just getting most of the rust off and giving it a new fresh paint. So to the coil, I was able to um, restore the coil itself to basically what happened was it had broken off at the little lip where it, it hooks onto the casing here. I was able to hammer on a new lip and then uh, rewind the coil, which was an interesting process, very scary. Uh, ordered the new quill stop on eBay as well as the uh, feed stop and it had a bracket but the bracket was for the, the 15 inch and later model and so I was missing the bracket and they're hard to find so I designed one in Fusion 360 and 3D printed it along with the bolts because these bolts are uh, like an Acme 11 threads per inch which is kind of odd. So like I said, a lot of rust removal. All of these were basically black, brown with rust, the same with the, the, the post. I could have gone even a little bit further on the post, but I figure, yeah. Um, the motor, I actually ended up replacing because it was uh, not safe, not grounded. Um, I have another video on that, um, replacing it. I ordered this uh, for uh, pulley for, uh, yeah it's a pulley with four gears unfortunately it's not the exact same size and actually it turned out that if i put this at a, a higher gear the motor uh, can't get past the capacitor and so it, it breaks the breaker at the lowest gear it runs just fine um the other thing that i had to fix was the actual quill um the gear that was hitting the quill was actually uh kind of blocking every 360 degrees so that told me that there was something wrong with the gear and I had to kind of file off the gear because I think in the last 80 years something must like really whacked like give a kickback at the at the quill and must have like bent one of the teeth on the gear um, but beyond that yeah fresh little paint um, took away all the rust uh, I have no equipment to fix you know this year but that's okay but, uh, and then I uh, added the kickstand or like a kick switch. And so, let me move that away. So, yeah, she's good to go again.